Well, good morning, friends. Happy July 24th. It's a beautiful day here in uh, Northern Utah. And I'm super, super excited to have a very special guest with us here today. Um, so Natalie and I started hearing um, the name of Lillian Wanger a few years ago. Um, as she started winning all the contests and uh, climbing up the ranks. Um, but we didn't have a chance to really get to know her very well until this uh, presidential trip this year in Greece. And um, Lillian is, um, I wouldn't call her a giant of a woman physically, but she is in every other sense of the word. Um, Lillian um, has a huge, huge heart and loves to serve, um, loves to lead. Um, she also has a brilliant business mind. Um, so as we talked about some of the new um, strategies, some of the new um, comp plan proposals, um, it was just amazing to watch her mind um, move so quickly and um, just think of all of the the brilliant ways to implement and 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 continue to to do the, continue the good that she's doing um, uh, with all the new knowledge and all the new strategies. So thank you so much for joining us to Lillian. Lillian is a founder 2.0. Um, she's also a presidential diamond. And, and um, what, what I admire about her is that it's not just her um, getting massive personal enrollments. Um, she's also leading her team to success. Um, so uh, you, you've also probably seen a lot of her team members um, also achieving Founders 2.0 and, um, and also um, achieving very high ranks. So thank you so much for, for joining us, Lillian. And we would love to just hear part of your journey. Um, how did you find Oterra? How did you, what, what made you think this is something you wanted to, to join? And, um, and then maybe after that, we could ask a few questions. Oh, well, thank you so much for the kind introduction. That was truly humbling. And you and Natalie have been, Conrad and I, a very big inspiration. We just always enjoy just your mentorship and just hearing you throughout our doTERRA life so far. <laughs> so how we got started, um, we it was 2018. I had a church friend invite me to a class multiple times. And I love to share this story because I feel like so many times just as we are sh contacting people, you know, inviting them to learn and they don't show up that first or second time, it can feel daunting or we're like, oh, apparently they're not interested. But the truth of the matter is I love to tell everyone, like, give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, is Life is busy. We humans are so busy. And it's typically like for me, it wasn't like I didn't want to come. It was just I never made it a priority. I probably was busy. I don't know. But it wasn't until that third or fourth invitation where I got a text message an hour prior to the class saying, hey, I have room for one more person. Would you like to come? And I suddenly was like, wait, this sounds really important. Like, yeah, I'll be there. Right. <laughs> and so it was there at that class that I learned about essential oils. I knew a little bit about them. I had a maybe like five essential oils in my house, but they all were different brands. And so I was kind of like skeptical at first, like really, why is doTERRA only the best? And I went on a rabbit hole and did a lot of whatever researching and soon it was just like, okay, this is, it's just, the proof is just right in the bottle because not only did it smell better, but it tasted better in so many aspects, like just the taste test and smell test alone. And anyway, so that was just kind of the beginning introduction. And I was like, ah, I want my mom and my sisters to be able to experience a class. So I had hosted a class mm -hmm. and she had told me at that class that if I host a class, I would get an essential life book. And I looked at that large essential life book and I'm like, oh my goodness, like, I really don't want the book. I will never read that, but I do want to have a class. <laughs> and I just have to laugh at that because I just think that's funny. Yes, I've been reading that book for six years and I'm still not through it, right? There's so much goodness in there. Um, at that class, um, I was not doing it as a business. I was just simply having a class. I invited some of my friends, some family members over and it's just funny, after the class, I so clearly remember um, after she had taught the presentation, she had passed out like kind of the enrollment sheets and I went and was, I kind of stood up and was in the one corner was helping them see how the home essentials kit back then was so much better than the family essentials, how much better it was of a deal. And 
I remember just kind of like looking at the corner of my eye and I noticed my upline just like looking at me and I'm like, wait, am I not supposed to be doing this? <laughs> and I'm like, now I know exactly what eyes she was looking at me with like, oh, she's going to do this someday. Anyway, it wasn't, it was soon after that I started sharing some testimonies with her like, oh, wow, like Frankincense did this and wow, like this is doing this. And she was like, you got to learn to do this as a business. I'm like, no, no, thank you. I am not interested. I know it makes you busy. And I already had some little side gigs going on. I'm like, I'm not interested. I'll be happy to just, you know, pass the people to you. And she probably said it three or four times, I'm going to guess. And it wasn't till she invited me to a, an, a business interview, which just to give you guys like a time frame, this was only a few months. Like I enrolled in the spring and I think our business overview was maybe June. So it really wasn't like even a half a year. Um, so kind of like looking back, it kind of baffles me that she already said like three times, like, girl, you should do this business in that short amount of time. Because I'm like, wait, do I do that with my potential people? <laughs> I feel like I let them ride too long sometimes. And then anyway, she said, do you want to come to this business overview? I'm like, sure, I will come. And at that business overview, um, Michelle Weaver was my upline's upline. So some of you may know her. She's also a presidential and a founder 2.0. Um, her, they both taught the business overview. And at that business interview, I was like very kind of polite. I had walked out of the house that morning and I told my husband, I'm going to be polite, but I am not doing it. <laughs> and um, he was like, okay, yeah, fine. You know, just go, just go. And I came home and I'm like, yeah, like I said, I could kind of see it making sense because I had a little other side gig business going. And I'm like, I could kind of see it meshing a little bit with what I do. Um, yeah, I think the baby collection kit had just come out with Tudo Terra right that month. And so as my customers were contacting me and beings I was selling um, in the baby line, I would offer that to them. And I remember I sold a few until it like went out of stock for the next two years, right? <laughs> um, but anyway, um, that was kind of just the beginning of my story. I started teaching classes and it just kept going from there, to be honest. I, if you have some more specific questions on like what you would, about that journey, um, that would be fine if you would ask. Um, really what was pivotal in me and my husband's just experience and journey was 2019, doTERRA announced that the incentive trip for that year was going to be in Hawaii. And we were going to also do like a co-impact sourcing, like the sandalwood experience. And me and my sister at that time were just like, whoa, if we could get to Hawaii, like that would be so amazing. Like we love to travel. And so we kind of made it our game. We were both like under premier or well, maybe my sister was premier and I was silver at the most, I'm going to guess. And we're like, we are going to see if we can get our husbands to the trip. So we worked super hard. I mean, back then, guys, the incentive trip was like enrollment and LRP points only. And we had to get like, I don't know, 150 points. It was like we worked so hard. And then I look back and like, how did we do that? Right. But lo and behold, me and my sister, we both got our husbands on that trip for free. And I really wanted to go to leadership. And my husband was like, ah, hey, I'm now. He's like, let's go to this incentive trip once and decide from there. And the cool thing was we weren't even on the ground at home. We were like on the plane headed home from incentive trip. And he was like, oh, yeah, we're going to um, leadership as well. It was just so huge. We got to see that um, the heartbeat of doTERRA, just the people in doTERRA. Like we just learned like they're normal human beings. Like... Um, I clearly remember, I think it was on the very first day when we were in Hawaii, we were having an open night, um, the welcome dinner celebration, and we were just kind of like standing there in the crowd, and someone, a guy came up pushing a stroller with a little child in it, and he's just chatting with us, and he was like, oh yeah, he's, I think we introduced, and he's like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm Dave Sterling, and we just kept on talking, <laughs> and then he went away, and then me and my sister, we looked at each other, and we're like, wait a minute, who was that? Dave Sterling, isn't he like the owner of this company? Like, and we're like, oh my goodness, he's like wearing shorts. <laughs> and I know it just like blew our minds away. We're like, they're so humble human beings. Like they're not like rah, rah, like look at me, suit and tie, you know? And it was just a beautiful experience. And it really was a huge thing that 
but for both of me and my sister that our husbands were like got to see the heartbeat of doTERRA and really um th while they were in like with us it just this put them the whole way so I love to share that too because for anyone that you're feeling like oh I'm not sure if my spouse is on board or encouraging me as well hey get them on in a center trip or another doTERRA um, function where they can really immerse into the doTERRA culture and it can be a real big game changer um Andy, I, I do tell really me. good questions. So yeah, tell yeah. me. <laughs> I love it. So, so inspiring. Thank you so much for sharing. Tell us more. Um, what was it um, about the business that um, that spoke to you? I mean, I, I know you're getting some results with your, um, with your own product usage, um, but what was it? Um, I mean, you had yeah. other side gigs. So, so. Um, it, it doesn't sound like there was a huge financial need. I don't know. Uh, but, but what was it that, that motivated you or spoke to you and, and made you wanted to do this? I love this question. And it's actually this morning I was, I was going around my house. It kind of was on my heart. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to share today. Cause I didn't have no notes. I'm kind of a free flyer. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to have to share that. <laughs> I'm like, God, what are you saying? Like, that sounds odd. But anyway, um, the reason I'm saying that is, I know sometimes we have that, we say it a lot, have a why that makes you cry. Mm -hmm. And I do agree that whys are super important. However, I will be completely honest. I did not have a why that made me cry as I started building doTERRA. Um, however, I had a heart for the product and I had a passion for how people could care for their families at home. Like that to me, like, Honestly, I don't have a huge, like, look at me. I am, like, so much healthier, blah, blah, blah story where I got completely changed from this or that. However, my stories are small. Like, they're just, you know, my child with an earache or my child with a cold or, you know, just literally, it was amazing at how, and that's what I love to share. I like the gift of wellness so families can care for their family at home. However, what I think is so beautiful is sometimes God leads you on a journey and you never know along that journey when you're going to look back and be like, wow, like that's why he called us here. Even though I wasn't like, maybe I didn't feel like I had a super why that made me cry. Um, so my husband and I is kind of like um, career journey, if you want to call it that, has been very interesting. Um, when we got married, we lived on a hundred acre farm and we are big dreamers. We love just creating and doing. And he w managed a wood shop. He was full-time uh, manager at the wood shop, and we also started um, growing our farm. We had a cow-calf herd. We also had um, a huge commercial boiler ho house as well for chickens, and it was a busy life. It was a fun life, um, and then in the wood shop, some things started to kind of shift and change with relationships, and my husband decided to pursue some other um, some other career options he had, which was in the IT industry. And he loved IT and he was actually able to work from home, which worked beautiful for us because that was during our founder 2.0 journey where he was able to work from home. So we had time where I could help. I could go out to teach classes and really invest in the business. And he was there alone to help. Um, long story short, um, we moved off of the farm because of another career option that had kind of opened. But once we were off of the farm, um, that other career option completely closed down, which literally let us as we had my husband didn't really have anything he was doing, which you know how that sounds like in just I don't know the normal world if, if I want to say it like everyone's like, Oh, like, what do you do? <laughs> or what are you doing? <laughs> right? Um, it was like, but the beautiful part was, is my husband and I had that time where we did not need to make any rash decision on like, okay, we're going to go do, uh, he's going to go do this job or this job or who knows what, like we had time to think and pray and see what doors God opened for us because we financially um, had had um me a financial um, stability that we could keep going from so while that journey definitely was not easy like you know just just that going that ride it's also just incredible looking back and being like wow like god had so much in store for us like this is he called us to a path that 
you know, it wasn't years down the road to I look back and like, wow, like this is why he called us to the path. And along that time, I know, Andy, you and I, we had chatted about this a little while we were <laughs> in the sea, right, <laughs> out in Greece on the trip. Um, a lot of people kind of look at me and be like, wow, it must be easy building in your community. Like you just work with all the people that are like you and they probably are like, like you too. Like they're so like gung-ho on natural wellness for the family. Well, let me burst all your bubbles, but no, that is not true. Um, we had received extreme opposition, which you might be like, oh, you might be kind of buttering that up a little bit. I'm actually not. <laughs> we had some extreme opposition. Um, however, it's like my husband says, it's like in those moments of extreme opposition when things are just really hard that God just opens even bigger blessings. And you know, looking back, I definitely wouldn't have started doTERRA if I knew that was happening, right? But yes, I do. I I just, I wouldn't want that not to have happened because of just how, how much better of a human is, is sharpening me to be, you know, so much growth that is still to happen. So even like when you're facing like hard times, like, I mean, gut punching times, God has a plan and he's going to see you through. And even if it feels like you're being gaslit, sometimes after being gaslit is where, where more, um, more just option, uh, opportunities come to you. Wow. That is so beautiful. I love hearing your journey and how, um, first it was just, I'm going to use the product, um, not super open to, to building the business. And then the product opened your mind to, to sharing. And it, and it wasn't a huge why that made you cry, as you said. Um, it was just simply empowering families to uh, take care of their health at home, which is is powerful. That is that is a huge, um, and I mean, you, you called it a, a passion of yours. So it, it, it clearly moved you. Um, and then uh, you also mentioned um, wanting to, uh, to go on these incentive trips and um, going with, uh, your sister and <clears throat> bring your husbands along. So I love that, um, travel, but not just travel for its own sake, travel with a purpose, right? It was, um, the, the co-impact side and the, um, the doing good that, that inspired you. So, um, <clears throat> um, it sounds like your, your why has morphed over time. Um, it really and has and, you know, I've been actually thinking about that uh, a little bit more. Like, I did have a why. I would say my underlying why was always, like, like I shared in the beginning, like, wellness for the family. And vision boards, I'm a crazy vision board person. Like, I love vision boards. And as I was just kind of thinking over my vision boards just over the past years, I remember one time when I feel like sometimes you get, like, a, a little heart throb beat to go to just another opportunity that you you have in front of you, right? And one of my heartthrobs definitely along the journey was, it's really important to Conrad and I that we have time for service and time for, you know, being able to step away from a job and pour into people that need it, right? Anyway, when he was working at home, we just absolutely loved it when he was at home and just, it just gave us so much yeah. flexibility. And then when he was working at home, we things changed and his boss wanted him to work in an office because he had expanded and he then had to go work in an a office location, which was so hard on me and him as well. And so I remember on my vision board, I just had like this picture of him in his ugly office at, at the office and I had like a red X through it. And that was when I was running for Diamond and I was just like, we just got to get him out of the office, right? So I feel like different times, wow. like, you know, things really. Um, and another yeah. another thing that's been on my vision board ever since um, I had my very first vision board, I actually just shared it with my team last night, uh, is I had a little picture of a mountainside cottage. Um, Ten years ago when Conrad and, Conrad and I got married, we had spent a time at a really lovely couple's 
place. And we were just like, ah, oh, this would be just so awesome if we could someday do this for other couples where we could give them an experience where they can rejuvenate, refresh, connect. And guess what? Last summer, the beautiful property popped up and it even had like a chalet type peak, just like on my vision board. And in our presidential wow. um, leadership magazine, we took our photo there in those mountains at that property. And it's just like, wow, like God, God just opens up so many paths. And I just feel like um, put God in the center of your vision board, like thy will be done. Mm -hmm. And just watch, watch his blessings as you just open up your heart to, um, you know, what dreams you have in deep, deep inside, even though they seem like, how could that be possible? That is so beautiful. I love the language that you used as you're describing your, your early married life, how, um, you, I think the language you used was you love to create, you know, you, um, you were always creating different side projects and, um, you know, you were looking at creating this or that business. Um, but, um, but you also talked about, um, I mean, I don't know how many times you've mentioned God in your journey um, it, and how central um, he's been in guiding you and um, opening doors for you, uh, creating opportunities. Um, so as I've, as I've gotten to know a lot of presidential diamonds, this seems to be a theme, right? Um, they, they love to create and they're, uh, they love to partner with God, with, with a higher power. And, um, that's, that's when we become unstoppable. That's when we can truly do, um, you know, move mountains and, and do things at a miraculous scale. So thank you so much for that, um, inspiring clarity and, and vision. Um, tell us, tell us more about how you built. Um, I know, uh, several years ago, lots of people built online. It sounds like that's, that hasn't been your focus. Tell us more about um, specifically, you, you talked about doing classes, um, but how have you um, built your teams, found leaders, and and built your, uh, I mean, presidential diamond team? Yeah, glad. Like, I would gladly share that. That's a fun story. So I see um, Manata, sorry, Manita shared in the question Q and A too. Um, what are some strategies used when the opportunities? present and what does inviting to the business look like for me so that's kind of kind of I feel like you've kind of asked that question Andy um so in my beginning days it was 2018 when I started like fall to 2018 till beginning of 2020 which you all know um March 2020 is like when COVID yeah. happened and the pandemic pandemic kind of really changed a lot of things I clearly taught only in person up till pandemic um, in-person classes I literally reached out to friends kind of like outside of my community for the first while simply because of some of the opposition I was facing um just other just connections you had like hey I am learning about health and wellness and I would love to be able to share this with your community you know that's how I started like just ask for classes um go for no I don't know if you ever read that book go for no but I would literally put in my head that I'm gonna get hey, 10 no's. <laughs> yeah get 10 no's and it takes a gut punch out of every no because you're like okay got three no's now got seven more no's to go and along the way you're gonna get yeses um so often if you get one yes then you stop versus if you're going for 10 no's you possibly will get multiples out of that um go for no going for 10. Um, what other strategies look like is, so I, I know, I think there's magic in shares. Um, and what I say by that is start, I will, I look at my team if they're loving the product. So your hundred LRP customers, your customers that are just loving the product and maybe they're telling you, Hey, what can I do for so-and-so? This is for so-and-so like or maybe you saw like their order was like 400 PV and you're like, what in the world? Like they're not definitely, they're probably not using that all for them. Maybe they are, but good chances out of 10, they're also getting for other products. So those people, what I like to do then is I like to ask them, hey, I know you love your business. I know you are loving your products and you're having amazing testimonies. And I know you've been sharing with your friends. I'm curious, would you be open to seeing the business side of doTERRA? And then yes or no? We have a business overview, have a class, and literally baby step them through the process. 
I'm like, oh, no, all right, we taught the class. We now have two enrollments. Let me show you how to, um, let me show you how to enroll them. All right, now they're enrolled. Here's what you send to them. Like baby step them through the process because we all know simplicity duplicates and complexity kills. Um, I feel like if you like, oh, you're doing the business, like the boosh, like everything on your plate is just like, what? Where, what am I supposed to do? This is really confusing, which trust me, I have confused um, minds as well. <laughs> and so then you learn like, okay, back to the simplicity of all things. Um, I like to make a game of it as well. It's like you ask 10 people, they may be like, like, you ask more than 10 people. But if you get 10 that say, yeah, they'd like to look at the business side of doTERRA, probably out of that five are going to be like, oh yeah, like I want to do this. And then till it's all said and done, you're going to have like one like rock star leader. And you might be like, oh my goodness, that's depressing. But really it's not because to me, if I look at it that way and, you know, Sally, Dick and Jane all said, yes, I'm holding them with an open hand. Um, because as soon as I'm just like, oh, they're going to do this and they don't do this, then I'm like, oh, bummer like they didn't do it oh this is never gonna work like but if you kind of hold them with an open hand you just you you are feeding them out a space of um I want to say grace and not force um and it literally is it's like you always need to be asking like I know like where I'm in right now in my business it's time I start asking again and starting that next set of um shares and introducing them because you can't ever stop I remember really, really well at the rank of silver, my presidential upline, Stephanie Martin called. She's like, congratulations, you hit silver. And she, and she was like, you're going to be the next time. And I'm like, oh, really? Wow. Like, and I'm like, ah. it's like, like, when does the craziness stop? Like, I was like, kind of like crying to her. I was feeling so stressed out, like at silver. And she was like, girlfriend, like when you get rock star builders is, is when it is. I'm like, oh, rock star builders. Well, how does that, like, how do you do that? what do you say? And she was like, girl, just open your mouth. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I literally, my team knows that I will tell them that like, they're like, what should I say? I'm like, simply open your mouth. I don't care what you say. Open your mouth and say it. Like, don't try to say it like me. Just open your mouth and say it. So when pandemic came in 2020, I kind of straight off the subject there, but we changed to doing, um, what we did like WhatsApp classes, Telegram classes, kind of like classes um, online in a sense, kind of like you would do maybe like a Facebook class. Um, because suddenly we weren't having in-person classes because we did, there for a time I didn't do in-person classes simply because everything was so closed down. I want to be respectful of kind of people's opinions there for a while, right? which we did after a time open up um, do in-person classes in smaller groups I would say probably before like you know the whole population um opened up as much but anyway that was huge in in building my business it was actually really huge um I saw some other groups were doing it like I saw Tupperware was doing this like online party thing and I'm like what like and then I think I saw some other companies were doing it I'm like how could we not do this with doTERRA? And so we gathered up our team and we started doing them and it was like a huge success. So um, from that, I have a builder in Canada. She's a platinum. We also launched a builder in um, Wisconsin. That's a platinum founder team as well. Another one of my builders is, she's local to me. She would have started before. Actually, she started pre pan I mean, she started about right when pandemic was, but she did only in person classes, um, which it must that must have been more the end of pandemic. But she didn't do a ton online. Um, my sister, she is a blue diamond and a founder as well, and she does primarily in person with maybe I, it's hard to say percentages, maybe forty. I'm going to say 80% in person and maybe 40% online. Um, I have another girl. She just hit diamond and found her as well. She primarily does online, um, like WhatsApp and Telegram. She even will do like email and text classes, literally like whatever your customer base is. Um, I have another gold that she primarily does um, the WhatsApp, Telegram as well, a few in person. 
So it's kind of hard. Like I did a poll the other day or the other week kind of on this question, like how much is in-person and how much is online. I'm going to guess is probably definitely stronger in-person, but we still do a substantial amount like on WhatsApp and Telegram. My favorite is in-person. I just, I connect so much better um, in-person. Um, and I see someone said, where can we find an outline of how to do a class on WhatsApp? Um, seriously, is so simple. Like the top 10 oil class is what we teach. Like what are oils? Three ways to use them, the purity, and then um, the top 10 oils, lifelong vitality and PB restore, like those foundational things or a healthy habits class and literally just find a graphic. You can video um, yourself teaching the products, keep it snappy, short, or you can type out. It kind of depends on your audience there. Um, works really well. Um, a little key that I feel like helps to close up the class fast if you're doing it online or faster is after you're done posting the content and you open up how to order, um, place like a little like, hey, our first five orders today will get a free mystery oil. And then as those orders come in, just, hey, Wild Sally, you got a free Wild Orange. Thanks for your order. You know, and you can kind of, that kind of keeps the edge there, but following up again, like <laughs> follow up. The, it's just the... Is the um, it's just the go. So pipes, pipes, pipes. Like literally, I just always say, like, is it dry? Well, then go to pipes. <laughs> we can't walk away. From pipes. <laughs> so true. So it sounds like um, inviting someone to the business um, is a really gradual process. You let them first have their own oil experiences. Um, mm -hmm. Let them become a loyal loyal customer first, mm -hmm. and then you're just baby stepping them into sharing. And then from sharing into building. So it's not like, it's not like you're going and talking to a, a, a top level producer in a, in another company and just saying like, I want to do the business with you. It's, it's more like, let's start with customers who, who move into sharers and then into builders. Is that right? That, that is a hundred percent correct. Which I know someone had asked me already, like, Hey, like of all of your team, like, have you been, or have, have they been like, in direct sales before or sales of any type and literally <laughs> probably 99% have not been so wow that's amazing and you know start throwing okay. the nuggets start throwing the nuggets at your if you're doing an in-person class or even if you have an online class and you see someone that you know throwing in great comments hey tell them like you're amazing like I could totally see you doing this someday mm. like, I love doing that at class. It's kind of like picking out one person, be like, hey girl, like you're amazing. I could totally see you doing this someday. And she just like laughs and you're like, you just both laugh, but you just planted a seed and you'll come visit it. Right. I love that. I also love how uh, Stephanie reached out to you when you were silver and yeah. congratulated you personally. You know? Like that's, that's so meaningful. You know, that makes a huge difference. So just any kind of recognition we can do. I know um, one of our leaders, they have a team in, in uh, another country and um, they have a huge celebration when people hit like the very, very first ranks, you know, like 500 PV, 1000 PV, like they have a huge party, you know, it's back in COVID, it was an online party, but it was so, so fun. So that, that, that energy of celebration, the energy of success, it's contagious. So that's really powerful. All right, we have a question. Is there a way to participate in one of your online classes? Do you have any like recordings or anything? Um, or it, like it literally, I could see if I have like, I don't know if you use, use Telegram because that's like where I primarily go uh -huh. teach them on. Um, I guess I, I could probably like send you a link. But are you just using the um, oils made, uh, essential oils are simple class mm -hmm. from the, mm -hmm. the uh, Empire Success system? Literally, awesome. I mean, you're welcome to like message me, but I just, this is what I tell my team when they're like, oh, I don't know what to say, like send me the scripts. I'm like, yeah, I can send you the scripts. Honestly, though, just do it and stop overthinking it. Like it's that simple. Yeah. Can you say three things about an oil? Then teach it. Like yeah. <laughs> it's 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 totally. so simple. I feel like that's sometimes how we um how we just complicate things over, it's like i don't know how to do this would we'll just yeah. just do it um yeah do top 10 one. Mm -hmm. but no i'm i don't mind um 
if someone wants to reach out to me, like they're more than welcome. If I'm doing a class, I don't mind if they follow along. I don't. That's so kind. Thank you so much. Um, we have another question. Um, also Moneta asking, what is your daily business schedule? Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> um, so my daily business schedule literally looks like me and my husband are like, he's a super planner. So I am trying to be a super planner too. Planning out your weeks is so important. Like literally planning out your months is just so important because plan, fail to plan, plan to fail. We all know that, right? Um, so my daily schedule looks like in the mornings, I kind of feel like it's my golden hour. That is when I like to be focusing on important topics or important things that are going to drive my business forward because my energy is the highest. Um, I don't want to sound mean, but like, just wait to answer your team's questions till later in the day, or you'll be like in maintenance mode forevermore. Um, I'm not saying that it's wrong to get back to your key leaders when you need to, like if they message you in the morning, but if you're sitting at your desk and working, I mean, stay focused. Don't like go off on bunny trails. So I'd say mornings is kind of my my um time when I'm like, okay, this is what we're doing. Of course, my schedule changes if I'm teaching a class and hey, we're out teaching a class. Um, I like to say if you're really invested in doing doTERRA as a business, um, do at least one class a week for Conrad and I when we were pushing founders, which I think we were the number six or ninth founder to hit 2.0. So we hit like the 2021 maybe in the spring our goal was two classes a week and that is literally what we did of course you know some fell through but if you don't plan like at least two classes a week you'll have maybe you know till it's all said and done four classes that month or five classes um where if you're like oh, i'm just gonna have one class a month well then that cancels well then you've got no classes um so a steady clip is like I would say one class a week at least. So that's not mm -hmm. too crazy insane. Um, mm -hmm. Two times a week now, keeps popping. Awesome. Now, the nice thing about um, your build in doTERRA is you've been able to do it with no children, no young children. Um, you're just, you've got all the time in the world, right? <laughs> I've done doTERRA with all, with children. <laughs> so <laughs> I love that. When we were, I don't know, Zoom's actually pretty good at canceling because they're all like playing here behind me, um, canceling noise, or hopefully it's not too loud. No, I can't hear them. Okay, that's good. Um, so when I started doing doTERRA, we had two children and we now have four children. So I've been doing doTERRA with children the whole, this all the time. Um, I remember taking a baby to a class, like I had to be like two months old and everybody was like, oh, she's uh -huh. like, tiny I was like I just put them in a Moby wrap and yeah. talk my class with baby right here it worked out well although if I when I ever I have a newborn I literally like block out six weeks where I'm like I'm going nowhere I'm just like in soaking up my baby time which I feel is super important um but no it's totally doable with children we are actually homeschooling um this coming school term which I'm super excited about mm -hmm. um it's totally doable with children get them involved I take them along to classes or my husband take keeps some while we go out in classes so totally doable with I children it. I love it no excuses so true um okay Celestine is asking what software you use to keep track of your business builders and clients um actually the honest answer is nothing other than spreadsheets and my back office okay I don't I don't have any. Um, Love it. Simple, right? Keep it simple. Yeah, and, and notebooks, like literally, I have like a notebook. Like this is the notebook that I keep anytime we are like on a Zoom call, and I just want to like share leader notes, or if I'm listening to like a podcast, or mm -hmm. I don't know anything, I'll have this on my counter. And then as I'm walking around the kitchen, I'm like, oh wow, like that's he just dropped some truth bombs, and I like throw my nuggets in my leader notebook. And then I'll yeah. use this notebook to teach team calls. Like, I'm like, hey, I know this week I was listening to, and then I share my nuggets of what I have in my notebook. So I'm a notebook and basic spreadsheet girl. And other than that, maybe yeah. someday when I get big. <laughs> I love it. So great. Um, as you were talking, I, I had a flashback. I think it was leadership last year. Uh, doTERRA was doing some recognition 
and um, somebody, um, I think they might be on your team. They had a, a child that was sleeping in their arms. And so they went up on stage with the child still sleeping in their arms. They took the award, they gave a little speech and they walked off the stage. The child slept. I th and I think this child was like half of her weight. I mean, this is a big child. And um, it just, I just love the demonstration of no excuses, you know, like, sure, life throws challenges at you and you just, you push through, you know, <laughs> it was so inspiring. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Um, Paul is asking, how do you set up a WhatsApp class? Is it a paid, th paid thing? Uh, so I, I don't use WhatsApp, but I think it runs very much like Telegram. It's, it's free. Um, you just literally create a group. And then once you have a group, you create a invite link, which is right there in Telegram. It's right in WhatsApp and an invite link for your group. And then that's when you, for me, like I sent that invite link out to, um, prospects, participants to come to the class. Um. Awesome. And then we have um, a QA and a question. Uh, Shelly says, when you do an online class, do you send them samples in advance? I do really poor with doing samples, to be honest. I, I sample people best after they're enrolled, then I'll spoil them. But if I send, if I send them samples, because Celestine, I'm sorry, I don't have any amazing tracker. I probably will forget to follow up with them, which is bad strategy. <laughs> <laughs> so it probably would it. do some good if I had some better I... strategy. But honestly, I do very little sampling other than when I'm out and about, you know, in the world. Um, and someone has an ailment or something and I give them something, then I'll sample them, but hardly ever with classes. Yeah, we've we've actually moved away from from sampling and and focus on just giving people an oil experience, you know? Mm -hmm. And the best time to do that is, is when you're with them in person. So love, 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 love it. Okay. Uh, we've got a question from Becky. Um, do you find that they're the same temperament as you? Um, hearing you say, just open your mouth, keep it simple. Um, it's not, not how I could operate. I think I'd really struggle with that kind of structure. Um, so are you attracting people similar to you, uh, different from you? What are you finding? There, I would say, yeah, that's a great thing, Becky. And honestly, no, my team, we're all so different. Like <laughs> if I would put us in a row, you'd be like, what? You're all on one team? <laughs> um, so my one girl, I know she literally writes out her scripts mm. and she'll be like, call someone and like she has it all written out. Mm. I just, I just don't do, I, I just can't do that. However, I do sometimes they'll send me like a thing, a script and they'll be like, Hey, like, does this sound good? And I'll go through it and be like, here, this is maybe a few things I would change just to make it sound not so, I don't know, just more real. And they're like, thank you. But honestly, I want my team to think for themselves. Like I don't want to be their mouth. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be like, this is what you say. And then they come to me, who well, should I say to her? Well, like, what do you want to say to her? Like, what do you think you should say to her? Because if you start being the mouth, then right. you are, you're never giving them the confidence to go and bloom. Um, it's, I always think of Seth resume when, uh, kind of in this subject, because he says, you know, the best thing we can do to a leader is blow belief at them. Kind of think of like a dandelion. And so, no, we're not all the same temperaments as I go over my front line. Um, or like, you know, my qualifiers, we're, we're all pretty different in temperaments, pretty different. Awesome. So some of, them, some of them I know do struggle, struggle with my structure sometimes just because I'm like, well, let's just do it, you know? And they're like, can we have it all down to A to Z? And I'm like, well, yeah, we let's get it down. Um, I, I just think that's the beauty of it too, is here in doTERRA, we can make it work all in different ways. Um, yeah. So many different personalities, so many different styles. Um, everyone is so, so different, right? Mm -hmm. But I feel like we, we are all similar in that we all love the product and we all have a huge heart for service. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really felt that um, on this last presidential trip. Um, for some reason, the the international group stood out to me more than than before, um, but just same same basic culture, you know? So really, really powerful. 
So if you could go back in time and tell your early, uh, early self, you know, just as you're getting started building, maybe at that elite premier silver stage, if you could tell yourself um, anything, what would you, what would you say to an early builder, Lillian? So I would definitely want to offer the business more early on. That's that's literally some that's something I said a lot as I you know hit diamond and going to blue and Prez, I'm like you know we need to be offering the business more. Um, it's a it's a beautiful opportunity. It's it's like I was just telling a group of t a team at a business builder event. I'm like it's my favorite business. It's my favorite business. Like. Me and my husband, we have, you know, we've been in multiple, we have had different and we have different businesses. I'm like, but this is my favorite business because it's a business model that I can give to you and you can do exactly like me. Mm -hmm. And I love to be able to like dive into like network marketing, like why it's like so amazing versus, you know, our traditional uh, building. I'm like, we have a grocery store, but I can't go to any of our amazing employees and be like, hey girl, let's sit down and I'm going to teach you how to build a grocery store just like in that empty lot just down the street from us and this is how we do it it's just not how it works in traditional sales right when like in network marketing with doTERRA the doors are open like I can sit down with you in my same town in my same community being like girl this is what you can do and there's room for us all so true right our business is is unique in all the world it it you know, there are a lot of days that doesn't feel like business. It's like, it's, it's more like a, a service project or mm -hmm. like, it's just, yeah, it, it's like hobby ministering, you know, like yes. it's, it's the best. It, it is the best. It's, it's like, it's like life coaching and right. everything all wrapped up in one with amazing products of wellness at the bottom. Yeah. And it's personal development and it's, you know, health education. Like you're getting, Laura Jacobs says, this is the only, um, only degree that you can get where you come out with a degree and a, a, a stream of income. So um, it really is. It's, it's unique in all the world. It is. Yes. So true. Um, well, any other advice that you would have um, for for people who uh, have been in the business for a while and just feeling um, stuck, feeling, um, you know, like maybe frustrated that their leaders aren't more engaged? Um, what advice would you have? That's like a hard question. Like, what is the one thing that you should just go and do, right? <laughs> um First of all, like take responsibility. This is your business. Mm -hmm. You know, I think all of us have probably a leader in our team that we're like, seriously, could you not? Right. But honestly, that mindset is going to get me where? Nowhere. So I honestly think for anyone out there, just including myself, the best thing you can do to just keep going in your business is go back to pipes and just teach more classes, present it to more people and rule them and support them. Um, if you feel like you have a whole bunch of people that aren't on LRP, well then maybe we should look at that support mechanism. Um, there's amazing tools that you can do to reignite that support um, part. And this is actually one place where I do sample which I'll quickly share it because it might be a tool for you, especially if you have if you are on here and you've been doing doTERRA for a while. Um, do like an oil study, which there is like four areas that you can really easily give some people an experience of digestive, stress management, sleep support, or pain management. Reach out to people that have already ordered from doTERRA and be like, hey, friend, I'm doing an oil study. I would love for you to participate. Here's how it works. I send you samples for a three to five day supply. It's free. All I want to hear from you, though, is how it worked for you in the end. Um, mm -hmm. Let them choose one of those four categories 
And then like, let's say they chose stress, you're gonna send them like six adaptive capsules and a little bottle of wild orange oil. Um, if it was sleep, you're gonna send them a few serenity capsules and maybe like lavender or serenity oil. Um, pain, it's gonna be cotyta soft gels or maybe deep blue rub and a peppermint oil. It's This has actually been really effective for me when I wanna re-engage existing customers that are just at a 10 PV or mm. just at a low PV because it gives them an experience. And I honestly, from my experience, when they commit to doing one of those five, I have like a pre and a post study um, survey where they do a pre-survey and then they do a post-survey. And I, I'm well, I can gladly share that with you if you want. It's very simple and basic. Then I can like it's a connecting point. They're like, wow, that adaptive really worked. And then they can they're probably likely to order it next time. Um, so that get awesome. back to the basics. And uh, um yeah, I'll gladly just email that survey to you, Andy. Is I have it in a PDF. Okay. It's really basic and simple. So yeah, I hope Great. that don't give up, don't give up part. Um you can do hard things and God's gonna go with you and the journey's worth it. So awesome. Such good advice, such good coaching. Um, and thank you so much for offering to share that survey. Um, uh, after you send that over, I'll just post that in the um, Share Success Facebook group. So uh, anybody watching this or the recording, um, just go back to the, the Share Success Facebook group and that's where we'll, we'll host it. Well, thank you so much for taking so much time with us today, Lillian. I'm so grateful to hear more of your journey and to hear um, more of your mindset. Uh, to me, that's always the best thing that we can gain um, from stories and, and from uh, coaching with, with people is, is what is their mindset? How can I get kind of under their skin to see how do they think? How do they problem solve? What do they, um, you know, what, what drives them? And so you have given us so much. We've been well fed. So Thank you so, so much, um, especially from your from your busy presidential and um, small child filled life. Um, so grateful for for your wisdom and for your time. Um, and we, we hope to hear from you again soon. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure. All right. God bless.